I saw so many profane notices that say no overnight parking or parking is for customers only violators will be subjected to towing at owner's expense or no laundering people who are in charge of hotels slash motels only care about the money because of evidence of those profane notices I believe that the United States is becoming racist against drifters and against poor people because of evidence of those profane notices I believe that the United States superiors are putting every US person on the same boat as rich people but the truth is that there are some US people who are poor what if drifters and poor people need rest drifters and poor people are somebody's to God too God wants humans to rest to be recharged and God does not want humans to be zombies according to Genesis chapter 1 God made the earth for six days and according to Genesis chapter 1 God rested on the seventh day on commandment 4 from the Ten Commandments according to Exodus chapter 20 verses 8 to 11 God says to remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. According to Matthew chapter 11 verses 28 to 29, Jesus says, Come to me, people who labor and heavily burden people and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and follow me because I am gentle and lowly in heart and you will find rest for your souls. According to those words of wisdom, all work and no play make Jack a dull boy. And it is the same thing that a leader gives too much strictness of giving orders to the pawns. The red flag prepositional phrase in profane notices is at all times and another red flag prepositional phrase in profane notices is no exceptions when a leader gives person a too much serious restrictions person A will have so much unhealthy fear for the rest of his slash her life thus not going forward in life and thus losing self confidence in life permanently and thus losing self-worth in life permanently and thus losing mental health permit rest to 
weary people. Because rest is God's gift to us.